for another YouTube video. I'll be um, doing a pay-per-view review for TNA Slammiversary. This pay-per-view was a good pay uh, quality pay-per-view from TNA. Um, it started off with an intro, I mean a tribute to all the people that died in Orlando from a shooting. RIP to them. And that's why I'm playing this song in the background, a tribute song for them. And I P to them and Whitney Houston. Um, it started off with an X Division match. Awesome match. A lot of spots, a lot of great moves in the match. I like Andrew Everett's move. That corkscrew moonsault move from the top rope onto the outside onto his opponent. Um, it, the four people in was Eddie Edwards, DJ Zima Ion, Andrew Everett and Trevor Lee. Trevor Lee hit some awesome moves on DJ Z. I liked how that happened in one of them, and I liked Andrew Everett's Hurricane Rana on Eddie Edwards. That also was an awesome move. Eddie Edwards picked up the win with a roll-up to win the X Division title, which I think was really good to see that title change. Eddie Edwards was awesome. The match was awesome. Great start. Then it goes into the Tribunal against Mahabali, Shira and Grado. Again, a solid match. Tribunal showing their great in-ring work. Technical wrestling with rough and ruggedness with it as well. I like Shearer's springboard move. That actually surprised me because he's not known for the high wrist style. And he did a springboard move. I thought, wow. For him. And then he tagged Grado in. Grado did his thing. There was a near fall featuring Grado when he kicked out. But then he won with um, a team move where he had him down and he did a move from the middle rope onto Grado to pick up the three. Good match. I mean, it was a solid match. Then we had the knockouts title. Gail Kim went to the ring, went in a match with Maria. And Maria came out and said she had a broken arm. And Gail was calling her a liar, etc. And then William Coogan, Billy Coogan from the Smashing Pumpkins, the rock band, that makes some music. Um, he came out and said um, TA management confirmed that Gal Kim is injured, so the match was cancelled and they put Gal Kim in a freeway with Jade and Sienna for the knockouts title, which was awesome. Sienna showed her great in-ring work, great technical in-ring ability as well as strength. Jade was all round brilliant, her great spots, great high-risk manoeuvres. Showed her acrobaticness and um, Gail Kim was awesome as usual. Hit some good moves. Um, then Marty Bell got him. Then it looked like Marty Bell was having a face turn, but didn't because she hit Jade and cost her for Sienna to win the knockouts title, which was pretty good. And then the next thing that happened was James Storm against Braxton Star. I thought it was a good match, but I think, think it could have been longer. It started off technical wrestling, doing that and building on. Then Storm started hitting some of these high profile moves like that back cracker that Carlito uses and etc. And hit a lot of good high risk maneuvers. James Storm that he usually hit. And then Braxton Star had a spell in control where he had a lot of near falls with a lot of good maneuvers then it ended with a last call from James Storm to end the match again solid match then we had a match then we had um, Eli Drake against Bram this match a very violent match a lot of fighting on the outside I like that backdrop he hit on the steel floor because he lifted the mat up then we it, um, got back in the ring he hit a good net breaker then Bram got in control, hit some good moves. Then it ended with a clothesline from Bram, um, Eli Drake, and Eli Drake retained the King of the Mountain title, which led into the next match, which was EC3 against Mike Bennett. Again, great match. A lot of near falls, a lot of spots in this match. Great all-round work from both competitors. EC3 won with the... Um, one percenter. Mike Bennett hit a lot of really good moves. There was a lot of chairs involved as well. Maria got involved, his wife. And I think that was a really great match. EC3 won. Top quality. Then we had Jeff Hardy against Matt Hardy. Another insane match. To me, 
that was top quality. Jeff Hardy hit a lot of high risk manoeuvres. Matt Hardy, very aggressive and rugged. A lot of weapon shots. Jeff Hardy, I liked it when he, they brought in a steel ladder, extended ladder, put it across the two ropes, and Jeff Hardy did a splash, Matt Hardy, and the ladder, steel ladder cracked. That was awesome. Then it ended with Jeff Hardy hitting a swanton bomb on Matt Hardy through a table to end this match off. Really good, good way to end the match. Then we had, for the tag titles, DK versus the Bromans. Again, great match. DK showed a lot of their great in-ring work, great high-flying ability, technical, abyss. Again, brilliant how he um, hit a lot of good moves with Crazy Steve. Then abyss won with a black hole slam and a power bomb on Crazy Steve to end the match, which I think was awesome. Way to end the match. Good, great tag match for the TNA Tag Team Titles. Then we have the main event for the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, a submission and knockout match between Drew Galloway and Lashley. Brilliant match, a lot of spots, a lot of submission wrestling from MMA, a lot of going for the knockout, very, a lot of moves where they were using the steel steps. Drew Galloway did a full flip and fell through the table, which probably hurt him a lot. Then we had it ended when Lashley being passed out to a submission hold to re to become the new TNA World Heavyweight Champion. What have they got installed after that is another guess. I think this pay per view was really good to me. I would give this pay per view an eight out of ten because I think a couple of matches, Eli Drake and Bram, and Braxton Stutt and James Storm could have been better. I think them two matches could have worked better, I think, with the potential they had. Um, the Tribunal grade on Shearer, I didn't expect anything more. It definitely lived up to what expectations because I didn't really expect a lot from it, but Shearer had some good surprise moves, so yeah, the match was actually better than expected. So a positive for there. And here's my review.